Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In this tutorial, I wanted to demonstrate the Lightroom mobile workflow that I wrote about over on the Lightroom Fanatic blog. The idea behind the workflow is I wanted to show that you could import images onto your iPad, do some uh, edits inside of Lightroom mobile, and then apply those edits back to the raw images once you import those into your computer. To start, we need to get our images from our camera into the iPad. I use the Nikon D7000 and it has two memory card slots and I use one slot to shoot raw images and one slot to shoot JPEG images. So what I'm going to do now is take that JPEG card and insert it into my iPad. The iPad will actually let me import the raw images as well, but Lightroom Mobile won't let me work with those raw images. So that's why I'm in, that's why I'm going to import the JPEGs. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my, uh, my memory card into my iPad. And you'll see the iPad will open up the Photos app, and on the bottom of the Photos app, there's a new button for Import. So when I click on that, you can see these are all of the images that are on my memory card. Now we went up to Estes Park, Colorado and for, for Easter, and I took a bunch of images. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and have uh, my iPad import all of the images from my card uh, by clicking on the Import All button on the top right. And it's a pretty fast process. So we'll just give it a minute to import all of the images and then we'll move on to the next step. After the import's complete, your iPad will ask you if you want to delete everything from the attached camera or memory card. So it's up to you whether you want to keep them or not. I'm going to go ahead and click on keep and then I'm going to exit the Photos app and I'm going to launch the Lightroom app. So the first thing we need to do in Lightroom Mobile is to create a collection. So I'm going to click on the plus on the top right and I'm going to give my collection a name. And click on OK. And now we're going to add the images to the collection from the camera roll by clicking on the big plus in the middle of the collection. So there's a couple of different options you have for importing and where you're importing it from. On the very top uh, where it says add from camera roll, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to ch uh, change it to the folder that says last import. So this is the all of the images that we just imported. So I'm only going to select a handful of images here. Um, Lightroom Mobile, uh, as I mentioned in the post, will actually uh, grab the original and upload the original and I found that the process, uh, if you do a bunch of images, and uh, because these JPEGs are five megs a piece, uh, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, for the purpose of uh, demonstrating in this tutorial, I'm just going to select a handful of images that we can process and then go back to Lightroom and apply to the raw images. So I've selected three images, and I'm going to click on the check mark on the top right. And Lightroom Mobile is going to import those from the iPad's camera roll uh, and do some magic behind the scenes where it's actually going to upload the original image uh, through the cloud. And then once that's done, um, we'll go ahead and pick a couple of images and, and apply some edits. Now that my three images are in my collection, I'm going to open up the collection and we're going to pick an image to process. Now I'm just going to do a couple of changes to this image, but I want it to be enough where when we go back into Lightroom that you can tell that the image has been processed. So the we'll do, first thing we'll do is we'll change the crop. And we'll go ahead and pick one of the presets. Bump up the clarity. And there we go. Between the crop change and the some of the other adjustments that I made. Uh, they'll be easy to see once we go 
back to uh, Lightroom on the desktop. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to, on the top right, you can see the little dots moving. And if you click on that, you can see what the status is of uh, Lightroom Mobile updating the changes to the, um, to the cloud. So uh, that's all done. So all of my changes should now be uh, in a new collection in my Lightroom catalog on my desktop. So let's switch over to that. So now I'm back in Lightroom on the desktop. And I've gone ahead and imported all of the raw images from the other card for my camera. You can see it's got the .NEF extension for the Nikons. So I've got all of those in a new folder. And you can also see that from Lightroom Mobile, I've got a collection now of the images that we imported into Lightroom Mobile with uh, the changes that were made to this image, the third image. So what I'm going to do now is create a new collection and I'm going to call it Synchronize from Mobile. And I'm not going to synchronize this new collection with Lightroom Mobile because the only reason I'm creating this collection is to copy the changes from my images uh, that we changed on Lightroom Mobile onto the raw images. So I'm going to go ahead and create that collection. Um, and I'm going to put the three images from mobile in there. And I could have created those, I could have added them to the collection when I created it, but uh, I like doing things the hard way. And I'm going to go up now to the uh, raw image folder, and I'm going to drop in the three images that um, we imported into Lightroom Mobile. So it's that one, Easter Bunny, and Funny Face. So now that I'm in that collection that I made, you can see I've got the JPEG image first, followed by the raw file that corresponds to that JPEG, and then it repeats JPEG raw, JPEG raw, JPEG raw. So this is the JPEG that we made some changes to in Lightroom Mobile. So one way to get the changes from the JPEG onto the raw image would be to right click on the JPEG, go to develop settings, copy settings, and I'll just select all of them, and then right click on the raw image, develop settings, and then go to paste settings. And as you can see, the crop changes and all the adjustments are made. So the because I was working with a JPEG and a RAW file, you might see some subtle differences between the two. So when I switch back and forth, you can kind of see that. Um, but it gets it does apply all of the changes that were made uh, onto that RAW image, and it's just how it's interpreted uh, back in Lightroom. So you may need to make a couple of a uh, couple of more adjustments and tweak it for the RAW file, but uh, but it's a great head start. Uh, and it'll allow you to do some editing while you're on the road just on your iPad um, and then easily get those uh, get you started uh, with the raw images once you get back home. So, so I'm going to go ahead into this raw image and reset it. So going back into the collection, you can see I'm back. This one is back for where we started. So another way that you can apply the changes, and this works a lot better when you have multiple um, images that you want to apply changes to. So, uh, for example, if I had processed these other two JPEGs or 50 JPEGs or 100 JPEGs, right-clicking and doing the copy-paste settings is probably the slowest way you could do it. Uh, another way you could do it is simply to go into the develop module for an image. Uh, so this is the JPEG image that has the crop change and the other adjustments. And I'm going to right arrow, which will bring me to the raw version of the same image and I could just click on previous and now I've got the same changes uh, applied to my raw image that I did when I did that copy settings paste settings so in this model you could start with your JPEG uh, right arrow to go to the, the next image and then click on the previous button to grab the changes uh, and then right arrow again click on previous right arrow again click on previous and just keep repeating that uh, as long as you've got the, the JPEG raw sequence in order, um, you can blaze through all of those changes 
uh, and apply them to the raw images uh, in you know in a minute. So um, that's just another tip to to speed up this process. But um, I hope this tutorial shows you how you can make use of Lightroom Mobile uh, with to do some processing and then apply those changes back to the raw images once you import those onto your computer. Uh, there are more details on the blog, so be sure to check those out. And for more, visit us over at lightroomfanatic.com.